She probably is not looking at the layers. She's probably looking at some sort of like bird flying about down there that she wants to eat. But aye, those layers that you can see in the mountains behind me, if you don't know what they are, I'm going to tell you. Those are the Todadonian sandstones, right? Deposited 1.2 billion years ago. Now the Earth's only 4.6 billion years old, so imagine. Imagine that being deposited 1.2 billion years ago and it's found here in Scotland. Not the oldest rocks in Scotland because they sit directly underneath the Todadonian sandstones and those are known as the Larissae Gneiss Complex, a set of metamorphic rocks that have just a bit melted at one point in geological time. Now, the Todadonian sandstone is up to 1.2 billion years old, meaning it was deposited before complex life exists. So there's no fossils in it, only microbes existed back then. No fish, no Nessie, no dinosaurs, no even any plants in those rocks. They were laid down by ancient river systems, sediment that flowed down into deltas and all that. And layer upon layer, they compacted and cemented together to form these layers that we can see today, still horizontal. Back then, Scotland was situated at the equator, meaning that the, the environment was arid, which gives this sandstone its red and brown colour. The quartz grains themselves, you there will you stop digging holes? The quartz grains themselves are coated in iron oxide, which is known as hematite, a mineral known as hematite. And that's what makes it red, is because it's rich in iron oxide, which means it was deposited in an arid environment back 1.2 billion years ago. Oh. So you find these rocks in the Northwest Highlands, especially in Todadon. That's what they've been named after, the Todadonian sandstones. They're also, if you notice, that mountain's capped with another rock type known as quartzite, the Cambrian quartzite. Now the Cambrian quartz site's 500 odd million years old and that was deposited on a beach. Lots of sediment on a nice sandy beach that stretched across where Scotland was back in the day. This beach was rich in white sand which all compacted and cemented together and were slightly baked to form that quartz site. Quartzite has a granoblastic texture about it and when you shine it in the sun it will glitter and show you that those grains have fused together meaning it's baked, it's been heated up over geological time. You there, will you stop eating the weeds? So I, next time you're in Torridon, have a wee look at these mountains and see what you think yourself. What's cut these landscapes? Well, I'm going to tell you. Glaciers have cut these landscapes. Around 10,000 years ago, we had glaciers cutting down through the valleys and glens of Scotland. Forming what we can see today, these massive glacial ice bulldozers cut away at the sides of the valleys, creating these U-shaped valleys, which are steep slopes and flat bases. So we fast forward a few billion years and we have what's known as the ice ages. 10,000 years ago was the last one and ice came down these valleys, cutting away at the sides of them, creating what's known as the U-shaped valley that we see today, or in Scotland, what's known as a glen. Some of these glens are filled up with water, which are known as locks. It gives Scotland the dramatic landscape as we see it today. And here is a perfect example of that U-shaped valley. Ice works in magical ways over actually not even that long a long period of time. It cuts through the sides of the valley through different processes such as freeze thaw and abrasion and erosion, right? Freeze thaw is basically when melt water at the bottom of the glacier, the sides of the glacier seeps in. It freezes overnight, expanding, cracking open the rocks and then it unfreezes and the processes repeat themselves over and over again, causing as the glacier moves down the valley, causing it to rip 
the pieces of rock away from the valley, like sandpaper does, right? Like it's a massive bulldozer just ripping away at the sides, right? So that's your freeze thaw. It abrases away at like these sides of these valleys, causing it to look like this when everything melts away. Got all the fluff that's coming off you the other now, by the way. Proper defluffing you. Now don't fall down that hill. You that come here and stop rolling in the shite! Move! You that up here, move! Stop rolling in shite! Come here! Did, did you roll in shite? You that! Come here, sit down! Sit down! Look at how stunning you are, baby girl.